Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to export an Access report as an HTML document so it can be viewed in a web browser by anybody. This is a great way to share your data from your Access database to anybody anywhere in the world. Today's question comes from Tika in Shelby, North Carolina, one of my Platinum members. Tika says, I know I have to split the database for my team to use it, and I will go through that video soon. Is there a way for the masses to view the calendar without sending the database to everyone? My team of about 15 people will be using the database, but it would be very beneficial if there was a way for a much wider audience to view just the calendar. Yes, Tika, we've got a couple of options. Let me go over them for you. Basically, as far as I see it, you've got three options for sharing your access data with a wide audience. And these are people that may or may not have access. First, you can migrate your database up to SQL Server online. This way, your data resides on the web. You and your team can still work with it as usual in Microsoft Access, you just connect to it. Then you can make a public facing page on your website using something like ASP, where they can then view whatever data you let them view, such as your calendar. The pros of this is that the data is available in real time, 24 seven, as soon as changes are made. So you update something, boom, it automatically appears online. The cons are, this is a significant amount of work to set up. However, once you get it up and running, you don't have anything more to do. This is how my whole website is set up. My website is built in ASP, Active Server Pages, a Microsoft technology, and it's got SQL Server in the background. So all I do is type something new in, and boom, it appears right on my website on the homepage. I have nothing more to do. That's the, that's the best solution for me. Now, the second solution would be to use SharePoint. Again, it's from Microsoft. Your data would be moved up to a SharePoint list on a web server. You can make a public facing page for it for people to view. Although I personally don't recommend SharePoint unless you're dealing with just a small team of people. It's good for small teams. It's not good for like public stuff. You can do it, but it's, it's got some, some issues. So the third option would be to export your calendar report as an HTML document. Then it can be viewed right inside a web browser. You can do this inside of Access with just a few clicks, and I'll show you how in just a minute. Then you can either upload that document to your website using FTP or whatever web program you're using, or you can put it in a public folder on something like Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, or one of those services, and then people can view it there. The pro is that this is by far the easiest solution to set up. The downside is that the document is only as up to date as you make it. So if you want it updated daily, then you have to update it every day. If you want it updated hourly, someone's got to update it every hour. If that's good enough for you and your team, if you're just looking at a weekly schedule, for example, then this would be a good solution for you. If you need up to the minute changes visible on your website immediately, then I'd go with SQL Server. Let me show you how to do the export to HTML and you can decide if that is a good enough solution for you. Okay, here I am inside my tech help free template. This is a free download from my website. Now I don't have a calendar set up in this database. I do have a calendar database available on my website. It's called the Microsoft Access Calendar Seminar and it makes cool reports like this that actually look like monthly calendars. And yeah, you can see it's from 2009, but it's still good today. So if you want to be able to print stuff that looks like an actual calendar, check this seminar out. I'll put a link to it down below in the link section. Okay, commercial over. Now you can export any report as an HTML document. And since I've got an invoice set up, we'll just export that guy. Okay, so I'll go into the customer form, open up his orders and bring up his invoice. All right, you'll do the same thing with whatever your calendar is, your schedule, just put it into a report. Okay, you know how to do that. If you don't know how to make reports, go watch my Access Beginner Level 1 class. I spent some time building reports. Now, right up here in the data section, you'll see you can send it to Excel, a text file, PDF, whatever. You can export it as a PDF if you want to as well. But if you want it visible easily in a web browser, drop down more and then go HTML document. Where do you want to export it to? It's going to drop it in your documents folder. That's fine. I'll hit OK. It's going to ask if you want to select an HTML template. Don't worry about that. Just leave that off and leave default encoding on and then hit OK. Access will ask if you want to save these export steps. Don't bother with this. Just hit close. 
And now let's go see what Access created. Okay, here I am in my Documents folder. This is where Access dropped this HTML document to. Let's double click to open that up. And there we are. There's my HTML document. And you can use this on a web page or do whatever you want with it. It's not perfect. It doesn't look exactly like your report, but if you want it to look exactly like your report and you're going to be putting it online, you can make it a, a PDF document too. PDFs sometimes look better, are more true to the original layout of the report than an HTML document. And, and most people today, browsers can just by default display PDFs. So you can use either HTML or PDF, either one, or even a text file if you want. All right, let's go ahead and close this. And now all you have to do is just click and drag and copy this over to your website or to your Dropbox folder or your OneDrive or your, I personally use Google Drive. All right, I got it right here. You can install Google Drive for desktop, which is relatively new. And you can just click and drag and drop it there and then create a public folder where you can send the link to anybody and they can just view it right from there. And like I said, the downside is it's only as up to date as you make it but it's relatively easy to update. So just once a day, when, you know, at the end of the day, click, update, drop it, and there you go. If you want to learn more in the extended cut for members, I will show you how to do a one-click export with one line of VBA code. And again, I tell everybody this, VBA is not scary. It shouldn't intimidate you. It's real easy. I'll show you exactly how to do it. One click, it'll export the file. Then I'll show you how to use Google Drive to make a folder on your system where you can just drop that file right in there and then you can make that folder public so you can link to it from your website or send the link out to your team members or your customers or whoever has to get this information. All right, that's all covered in the extended cut for members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. Gold members can download the Tech Help video templates. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted. So if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.